Hello and welcome to this presentation about GCSE Drama. I'm Mr Kirby. If you decide to do GCSE Drama, you will have either myself or Mr Jones as your drama teacher for Year 9, 10 and 11. At Rygate School, we do the ECUDAS exam board. And as you can see on the screen of the assessment, 70% of the assessment is written and 30% is performance based. The GCSE consists of three units. They are all done as a practice in Year 9 and for real in year 10 and 11. Unit one is the devised piece of work. It is worth 40% of the GCSE. Students are given a stimulus from the exam board and in small groups create a short play. Students can be assessed on either performance or the technical aspects, which is lighting and costume. When creating this play, students will have to create the script. They are in charge of the set, lighting, sound, and everything to do with this play. At the same time, they're also doing the controlled assessment coursework, which essentially is a log based around the work they're doing in class. Students doing the technical aspects will do exactly the same work. The only difference is that the performance side of the assessment will be based on a presentation they do to the class about the technical aspects they have created. The actors will, of course, be graded on their performance. The controlled assessment which accompanies this is 750 to 900 words. <clears throat> and after this unit, there is an evaluation where students evaluate the performance they have created. This is all sent to an external examiner. <clears throat> unit two is a scripted performance. This is worth 20% of the GCSE. Unit one was worth 40%. The scripted performance is based on a, a performance done to an external visiting examiner from a published script. Again, students can choose to do either performance work or be assessed on the lighting or the costume. For the actual performance day, students doing the technical aspects will be interviewed by the examiner and their marks will consist of this interview in addition to how their technical aspects look within the performance. The actors will be graded purely on the performance. Section three is an externally set exam. It's an hour and a half written exam. 75% um, of this unit, this, this exam, is based upon a set text, our current text being DNA. The remaining 25% is based upon an evaluation of a live play that the students have seen. This is also worth 40% of the final GCSE. On the screen are a number of attributes that we feel were useful for students considering GCSE drama. If you do GCSE drama, you'll have five lessons a fortnight. Three of them will be practical. One will be a theory lesson in the classroom and one will be an IT lesson where predominantly the work is based upon the controlled assessment and the evaluation work. Students will be expected to learn lines at home, rehearse in their own time, or create lighting scenescapes, or to research costumes, depending on what technical aspect of the performance they are looking at. Students will need to be working in small groups throughout, but despite this, they will be marked completely individually. There are a number of trips through the course. We aim to go to at least two to three theatres um, a year. And on top of this, there is the GCSE Performing Arts to New York, which happens biannually. Students will expect to have a passion for the subject, be motivated, be willing to work on their own as well as in a group, and be willing to take and give criticism to help theirs and the performances of those around them. Here are a number of careers that drama would aid. Of course, the drama GCSE aids not only those budding actors or technical students, but also those who wish to have more confidence to gain a better idea of working in a group and help in many tertiary, um, tertiary sector jobs. If you have any questions, please feel free to speak to myself or Mr. Jones. And I hope that that was informative.